Tyana Jackson for Kansas. And Tamira Poindexter for Tulsa. Right away towards the bucket goes Chandler Prater. And blocked out of bounds, Kansas will maintain possession. Jayhawks playing without Holly Kurskater, the All-Big 12 performer. Preseason, unavailable tonight. And so the Jayhawks playing a little bit shorthanded, but Wayne, that's been a little bit a part of their story all season long as they get it inside to Tyana Jackson for the first bucket. Jayhawks have also weathered some some injuries and illness and those types of things throughout yeah, the non-con. Yeah, you know they have. I don't think they've seen a, a full, healthy version of themselves quite yet with uh, Joanna Hachilionti uh, being out most of the season. Seeing her inserted into uh, the starting lineup tonight, it'll be good to see her get some good minutes here and up her point production uh, with Holly Kurskeeter out. Got it inside. Hachilionti missed the shot. Jackson gets it back, knocked out of bounds. A little bit undersized in this matchup. They will spread the floor and they will shoot the three. You already saw one down at the other end from Poindexter. Prater on the bounce. Off the rim. No good. Tulsa with the rebound. Great dribble drive there by Chandler Prater, getting right to the logo of the Big 12 sign, a shot that she can typically make. She'll try to get back to that spot more tonight. Backdoor cut to the basket for Mayberry. Tied up on the floor, possession arrow will point to Tulsa. And we'll want to keep an eye on those backdoor cuts for Tulsa all night, running a Princeton-style offense, kind of five out, playing five guards. Everyone can handle, everyone can dribble, everyone keeps it moving. And everyone will shoot the three. Mayberry with the miss there. They get it back. Poindexter will launch from the arc. That one's too strong. Jackson up high to rip away the rebound. Also challenging Kansas Biggs on the perimeter tonight to go out and step out and play a little defense. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, the good thing about that is Jackson and Hotzilionti both had the athleticism to be able to stay in front of Biggs that have a, a decent handle like Poindexter. But with the long three-point shots that we're going to see tonight from Tulsa, long rebounds are going to be extremely important for the Jayhawks. And Tulsa said that's a point of emphasis for them tonight against a taller Jayhawks squad to be able to hang on the backboards. Crawford, middle of the lane, missed it wide. Good defensive trip that time for Kansas. Back comes Mayberry inside to Jackson. Gets a double team quickly. Good ball movement here. Prater, the corner three off the mark. Knocked away off of Tulsa, and Kansas will get it back. Prater, nice job in the backcourt to knock it off Poindexter. But usually finds a way uh, to get another possession back just through her defensive assertiveness. Franklin has an opening and knocks down the three from the wing. Tulsa's seventh in the country, Kansas is eighth in the country. So two really good defensive teams that obviously can both score the basketball as well. So... When you look at, at their numbers, they rebound the same amount as well on the season. <laughs> it's eerily similar. Kick well, out to Poindexter, knocks down the three, and Tulsa's on the board. And to that point of uh, the defensive emphasis from both these teams, Coach Angie Nelp is uh, former conference defensive player of the year herself as a player. And, of course, uh, toughness and grit is an expectation that Coach Brandon Snyder has for all of his teams. So no surprise there's a defensive emphasis there for both of these squads. Hatsi Leonte working the free throw line and gets down for the lay-in. Good job against the mismatch size-wise there. Hatsi Leonte back in the starting lineup tonight. Missed a few games with injury earlier in the season and back in the starting role here tonight with the absence of Holly Kurskeeter. This Kansas team will really need her to up her productivity and her comfort level out there, particularly as they're working their way towards a Big 12 season. Working against a little zone here for Kansas. Mayberry, top of the circle. Off the mark, up high to get the rebound. Delaney Crawford for Tulsa. Kick to the corner. Maya Mayberry. Uh-oh, when Dad watches tape, right? Well, there could be a conversation <laughs> over, over Christmas dinner coming up here pretty soon. <laughs> that too. Tulsa staying in the zone. Hatsi Leonte kicks it out. Franklin knocks down the three. Sakaya Franklin with a pair of trifectas. Joanna Breen, a great job being a facilitator right there from the pinch post with her ability to pass and translates well here to the American game is being able to pass, find the open shooter. Jackson going up strong. Missed it. Got it back. Go to the bench. Here's Jackson doing her work underneath. Jackson already with multiple offensive rebounds. Just a difficult task to guard on one shot defense alone. Really be difficult if you allow her two or three shots per possession. Yeah. 
One of two at the line for Jackson. Keep an eye on her block total tonight as well. Jackson having another terrific block season. They get it down low. Mike. Poindexter on the crossover. This time goes to work in the lane. Missed the shot. Ball's loose on the ground. Tulsa comes away with it. Mayberry for three. Just beat the uh, shot clock there. And Hatsi Leonte rips away the rebound. Kansas trying to push. Wyvette Mayberry the other way. Shifted hands, couldn't finish. Jackson. Wyvette Mayberry able to use her speed and get to the basket. A broken floor assist, giving her that opportunity for an offensive rebound. Two for two at the line for Jackson. Probably not ideal to see her pick up two quick ones and head back this early. Poindexter shifted gears well, but then Tyana Jackson came down and erased on the help. Strom in the corner for three. And hit. Sana Strom. Poindexter, quick three. A little out of rhythm there. Missed it. Rebound to Franklin. Angie Nelp. The head coach at Tulsa. There's Franklin going to work. And with the a little bit better shot. They had one the last time down. This time, get a drive to the bucket from Mayberry. Off the mark. Franklin looking to push. Enters the lane. Off the window. No good. Jackson's there to clean it up. Tiana Jackson there. Right place, right time. Not giving up on the play. Staying active, staying aggressive. Getting a strong finish. Out of the timeout, Matty Biddle on a backdoor drive. Ends a 9-0 Kansas run. Tulsa taking the timeout to... Stop the run for Kansas. Franklin with another made three. It's a nice ATO after timeout call by Angie Nilt. Here's Biddle for three. That one's off the mark. Rebound to Chandler Prater. Franklin on that last made three. Now three for three from the arc. 11 points for Zagaya Franklin to start. Drive inside the dish. Hatsi Leonte the finish on wow. the assist from Mayberry. Great skill, great composure. Multiple fakes. Staying down without traveling. Evans buries the three. Three fouls here in the opening quarter for the top bench player for Tulsa. Strom corner three is a little bit long. Tulsa now looking to push. Biddle fakes the three. Drives to the hole and... Also, the trail bigs coming down right to the top of the key. Three-point attempts a game. Twelve already in the opening quarter. Hit four of them. So they, again, will shoot a whole bunch of threes. Half their shots come from behind the arc, but they're ahead of their game pace. So high-scoring opening quarter. Yeah, both these teams really playing to their strengths. Second-chance points for the Jayhawks. And, man, that three-point shot will always keep you in a game. Biddle made the drive at the other end. Franklin misses the three, and Tulsa back to work. Here's Biddle ahead of the pack again. Missed the shot. Jackson with the rebound. An excellent job, Biddle, running the floor in transition. Just a little bit too sped up, wasn't able to finish. Prater through the lane. And looking to get him settled in on the offensive side. Got to get shots on basket. Mayberry out front for Tulsa. Kick in the corner now. Crawford for three and hits from the corner. And now nine straight points for Tulsa. And I thought that shot was fairly contested. Why that Mayberry having a hand up in that. Crawford just quick trigger and good finish. Actually, the Jayhawks are doing a very good job of this season is converting from good free throw line efficiency. And there you go. 56% from the free throw line and came into tonight 76%. So she's done a heck of a job in upping her free throw game and of course she's going to get fouled a lot so it's good to knock a better clip down from that free throw line Mayberry on the drive I think Crawford got a piece of that defensively and back comes Tulsa Poindexter with a step through the lane off the screen Crawford Buries the three. Kick out. Three from the wing. In and out that time for Evans. Tulsa, though, will get it back and reset. Biddle cutting to the hole. Nice deep pass. See if they can get 
an easy basket by trying to punch it in here to Tiana Jackson. Franklin gets the turnover created there. She's leading the Jayhawks with 11. Goes to work on the dribble here. Up at the left hand, good. Mayberry, a little out of control. Questionable call there, but great job selling it, getting her shoulder into the defender. Focus for one moment, and it could end up in a layup. Blocked by Crawford on the Prater drive. Looked like Prater was going to have a runway there, cleared away by Jackson, but Crawford stayed with it and get the block shot. She'll take the shot at the other end and hit the mid-range. Yeah pinch post with her ability to dribble drive and score and also be a great passing threat blue jerseys draped on her on the inbound and now kansas will get a steal mayberry comes away with it uh, the first time the jayhawks have been alert on a backdoor cut alert with their eyes and with your hands the significant need and de deficit with holly kerskeeter being out of the lineup as well Very content to find that perimeter shot, but they may hold for one here. Mayberry being hounded by Prater out front. Evans, back screen, Lyles for three, and that one drops. Caroline Lyles behind the screen, buries the three. Mayberry trying to beat the halftime clock, gets it quickly up court. Pull up shot is good to beat the buzzer. What a second quarter though for Tulsa, down 12. And Mayberry v. Mayberry in that first half. Maya with seven points for Tulsa. Wyvette with two points, couple of assists, and a block shot for Kansas in the opening half. The two sisters going toe-to-toe -to -toe today, one for Tulsa and one for Kansas. Tulsa with the opening possession, shot clock now under 10. Poindexter looks, <laughs> looks off her teammate in order to get an open three. Missed it, they get it back though. Kick out now, Evans. And the shooter's touch there. Now to Prater on the wing. Shot clock at five. Franklin goes to work. Drives and kicks. Hatsileonte just outside the lane. Knocks down the jumper. Mayberry step back. 15-footer. Off the mark. Battle for the rebound. Will be out of bounds to Tulsa. Knocked off of Prater. So Tulsa will have it back. Crawford. With the reverse lay-in, got free. Just one player in foul trouble for Tulsa. That's Ray Young, who had three fouls in the opening quarter. No foul trouble to speak of for Kansas. Jackson just picked up her second. Inside, Hatsi Leonte with the... And completes the three-point play. 11 points. She joins Franklin and Jackson in double figures. Kansas now setting up a little full-court pressure. We're seeing a def different defensive look here by the Jayhawks trying to they break it. Lost the handle, though, did Perriman. And Mayberry get Looking for Mayberry. Prater spins to the lane, had it knocked away by Biddle, got it back, up and good. Mayberry on the drive, through the lane. And left it short off the window. Jackson's put back, no good, but... So Chandler Prater at the free throw line. 86%. Chandler coming off a great free throw shooting performance. Down in Tucson. Something they're certainly going to need to duplicate this quarter. Missed shot, foul. And she's hit all four. Quite the possibly, quite possibly would have been a turnover yep. there had she tried to catch it and finish. Franklin the leaner off the window and good. Shot clock at five. Mayberry, step back three. Missed it. Prater up high with one hand to get the rebound. Kansas looking to retain the lead. They led by double figures in the opening half. Their lowest scoring quarter of the season, scoring just nine in the second quarter. Trailed by five at the break, but can retake the lead here in the third on this trip. Prater on the drive. 
And hits the shot. Going to be a good look for the Jayhawks to keep attacking the basket, not settling for jump shots. Biddle had a free runway, it looked like, to the basket. Missed the shot. Hatsileonte has her shot blocked. Gets it back. Stays with it and finishes. Tulsa bringing back Perriman and Crawford. Crawford gets it back after the inbounds. Princeton-style offense. The person off the basketball has to stay alert. And hits him. Franklin defending on Mayberry. Mayberry going to work the crossover. Tough shot. Prater the rebound. Numbers for the moment as Maya Mayberry slow to get up, hobbling down the floor. Franklin draws contact. He's getting worked on on the Tulsa bench. Franklin, meanwhile, knocks down the free. Nothing knee-related. Franklin hits them both. Halftime. Poindexter. Top of the circle. Missed it. Foul on the... Team here tonight and her sister on the opposing side. Knocks down a pay. Coaching high school ball. Back in the... Tulsa area and so he's having to miss this one tonight it's gotta be tough on pops huh maybe, maybe he's coaching another little sister <laughs> that's true another Mayberry to be a great college player there is another basketball community down in Tulsa of course the kids are playing everywhere <laughs> Well, by the looks of things, there's plenty of family to support and help drive and enjoy this stage of life all around. Why that, maybe? Strom for three. Well strong. Jackson comes away with the rebound ball to not hit the rim. So the shot clock now down to 10. Franklin changing gears in the lane with the left hand off the window and good. And I think that injury may have been cramp-related as well. Uh, her and Jessica Evans were over there consuming a lot of Gatorade. And Crawford to work. Mayberry stays firm defensively and gets a nice stop. Man, great job of playing defense without fouling. Crawford's shown she's a playmaker from that pinch post off a rip drive. Franklin sees the lane, gets it with the left hand, forget about it. You get easy points and get the crowd into it, how it gives you energy on defense. And there's just a different pop in their step uh, that we're seeing on the defensive end that is really serving them well this half. Trying to get it inside to Jackson. On the block, steps through, left hand, shot is good. Man, when there's a one-on-one -on -one matchup like that against a smaller defender, that's advantage Tyana every time. Poindexter on the drive, spins, can't hit. Just pivot there and the chop over the top of the defender, attacking the shoulder. And a big guy like me, goosebumps right there. I like seeing that, <laughs> like seeing that work in the paint. And a one and out scenario. Kansas clearing that one away. Franklin off the screen. And hit as she's got a season high 23. Man, feeling it. If there's ever time for her to try to use that right hand is when. Meanwhile, staying patient here in the half court. Franklin goes to work again. Gets the left hand. Missed it. Jackson the other side for the putback. Creating exactly what the Jayhawks need in this moment. And finishes the end one. Jackson with another double-double here tonight. Poindexter for three. Got it. Now a 13. Tulsa trying to get back in. Kansas still leading by double digits. For a pair of free throws. Franklin, a rare miss. Jayhawk game day live tomorrow at 10.30. Dave Stewart, Jeff Hawkins. Tulsa trying to fight back in. Poindexter launches the three. This one's off the mark. Hatsi Leonte rips away the rebound. She's got the double-double tonight already. A good strong rebound there to keep it away from the Golden Hurricane. Jayhawks will slow it up here on the offensive end, work a little half court. This game is far from over with... Tulsa continuing to have a, a three-point threat. Now's not the time to exchange baskets with them. Defensive stops are going to be important. But confident in the stroke from the corner. Biddle to work. Found a seam down the lane. Missed it. Poindexter's put back no good. Finding the open three-point shooter. Man, that corner three in all levels of basketball. Poindexter one of two at the line. The foul was on Chandler Prater. 
She'll bring it back the other way. Jackson had to clear out. So Chandler Prater will foul out 13 points and six rebounds here tonight. Check out around the three-minute mark. Mayberry. Now to Evans. Long three and hits it. Pressure here in the backcourt. Franklin waving the traffic down. So they'll try to double team her across midcourt. Franklin looking for help. Gets it to Strom. And now they'll settle in. This could be where Chandler Prater fouling out could be a little bit of an issue for the Jayhawks. She's another solid ball handler able to handle the pressure. Sana Strom beats. Jayhawks, their biggest lead right now at 17 after being down five at halftime. Franklin the drive. Hand that we've seen that's got her having a career night tonight. Franklin knocks down the free throw. Franklin. And now with 25. Big second half for Kansas. 25-11 was the third quarter run after trailing by five. And plus 10 here in the fourth quarter as well. And they're going to win it 81 62 over Tulsa. Jayhawks improved to 10 and 0 on the season and back up their number 22 ranking with a victory.